everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another Epic Seven video. Um, I'm really excited to announce that LD Player has updated their uh, emulator to be able to run this game. I'm so happy for that. I was stressed out yesterday when I had to go back to Knox for a little bit. Um, so again, thank you, LD Player, for doing that. We have uh, a really easy way to install it. Just go to um, en.ldmnq.com or just Google search LD Player download. Uh, you need the new version right here. Just click that download button. And what you want to do is on the installation, select your previous install drive and just hit overlay installation. And it will um, overwrite your old install, keep all your settings. Everything worked perfectly for me. Um, and once that is done, you can go right into the emulator here. Just search for games and you should be able to just click Epic 7 and just hit install right here. That's all I did. Took me three seconds to set it up. Uh, really, really happy with this. So if you're like me too and you run multiple gacha games at once, LD Player is running um, Epic 7. It's also running Dragalia Lost and it's also running Azure Lane absolutely flawlessly right now. And because it's all in one emulator, you don't take too many CPU resources or memory resources or anything like that um, instead of splitting them up in multiples, which I know some people are doing. And if you're having latency issues, you might want to try to merge them all into one emulator and uh, try it like this because it's great for me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get back into the content you're actually here for, and that is Epic 7. Um, so I'm going to just talk about the game a little bit. I'm going to go through... Let's turn that down. I'm going to go through um, some things you want to make sure you understand. This is a big game. It's a confusing game, and I'm confused. Um, but good, good thing to note here is if you've played Summoner's War, you're going to know a lot of things already, and that really, 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 really helps out here. So um, I'm just going to go through piece by piece and just talk to you guys for a little bit. Hopefully I can flood my head into your knowledge of information or something like that. Um, this is the main area where you upgrade things. Breath of Orbises are the most important things to get right now. They're limited in quantity and you can find them in the story map, so I'll try to explain that a little bit further. Um, as for what to upgrade, this is the most important thing people keep asking me about. When you click on Improved Building at the bottom left there, you get a choice of which one to upgrade. And each upgrade does take one of these Breath of Orbises. Um, in all honesty, I don't entirely know, and this is going to be the theme of this video by the way, which you should be focusing on. But I've heard this is the best, uh, nurturing as many creatures as you can, and this adds you extra slots. So this is what I'm going to be doing from now on. I'm going to get my third one um, extended here. And after that, I'm going to be um, improving this building a little more. I got this update, and honestly, it's 20% chance, but it happens like 19 times in a row for me. So I'm pretty happy with this. This has definitely paid off for me. But again, I'm not sure if that's the best choice. So, what else is next? There's also um, a bunch of other buildings here. You can figure these out. They explain it pretty easily within the game when it happens. Other important things are guilds as well are super important. Make sure you're in a guild. It's also um, really important to do a bunch of different things in the guild. First off, you want to aid as much as you can if you care about the guild because this will help level the guild. Um, I would love to support these people, but I have zero and three of these. Um, also want to donate the max you can every single time. These proofs of courage, I'm not entirely sure what they do, uh, but you can find them from um, emergency quests which pop up sometime in the map. Uh, there's also a ton of other things you can get in here and these are very important to look at. Anything that's available one time per week is probably a good idea to buy. I'm not again entirely sure yet, but if it says available one time a week, especially one time a month, it's probably something you're going to want to buy. There's a ton of other things guilds can do here, like give you extra XP. I will be starting these once I start the stream today as well. And yeah, there's that. So unfortunately right now, we can only have 14... Wow, we hit two more people. So we must have leveled up our guild. So now we can add two more people to the guild. By the way, if you're really active in this game and you are um, familiar with the game and the stream, come join us on stream and ask to join. I might be able to get you in. Um, our goal right now is to level up as fast as we can and uh, try to add some more people. Another tip, something we screwed up as a guild. Uh, we should have all been asking for easy things so we can just pass them between each other and level up faster. But instead we got greedy and asked for greater flame rooms and greater frost runes, which is something you probably shouldn't do. Uh, 
so next up here what can we talk about our dailies are in reputation they're um just little red dots everywhere just start clicking things you get so many resources in here there's those greater light runes i was talking about um and these are the daily ones here you can see obviously it says daily and these are weekly here as well these are so important to do you need to get all these done um, never, ever, ever forget to do your dailies in this game because they'll really, really add up. Speaking of other things you can do daily, if we go to the top up here, let's click on our energy. Um, it'll bring us to what the shop. And um, friendship points right here. Uh, these two are very important to buy everything. This is not a game where you spend all your currency on summons. I mean, it could be, but you're going to fall behind. It's a game where you're going to spend your currency on... Um, refreshing your your energy your stamina whatever they call it in this game energy it says uh so make sure you're spending a lot of your sky stones on refreshing energy to keep up so this is why these are so important friendship points you can get one of these refreshes a day and uh arena entries are very important right now too because you can get to the higher tiers with a weaker team right now because everybody is so much weaker there's also a bunch of other things in here that i'm not entirely sure uh, where are they here? What you should be buying. But these Molagora seeds, I can imagine, are going to be very important. You can only buy those one time a week. Same with this. You can only buy those one time a day. That'll help out. Um, anything where it's like X amount of times per day, definitely go for it. Um, and then we have our event packs. Just in case you want to make some purchases here. I bought the monthly pack. It was 7 bucks. Um, I mean, I'm going to take that. That's super fine. I'm okay giving 7 bucks to a game. I also bought another pack that was like three bucks. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know the values of everything else here, but I have to imagine rank up pack is probably something you want to buy if you're very interested in the game. Um, and outside of that, I can't say for sure, but uh, I wouldn't pay this much, um, to be honest, for summons. But if that's something you want to do, have on at it. Next up, what are we going to do? Battles. Um, basically, anything you see this little red dot on, just follow the trail of red dots. They will they will keep you going. So there's a ton of different things in here right now. If you go to the altars, these are daily, kind of like your um, elemental ruins in Summoner's War, or your elemental ruins in any other gacha game ever. We have light, dark, flame, frost, and forest. And I must say, the art of these is just beyond ridiculous. So these are changing every day. And they just give you um, enhancing materials, evolution materials, awaken materials, that's what it's called. I've got to get this terminology right. So those are important to do to pre-farm if you're looking to farm stuff. I'm not focusing on it too much because it's better to farm the higher level and I can't do that yet. There's also a couple other things here. Abyss. This reminds me of temp, uh, TOA in uh, Summoner's War if you're familiar with this. But basically... The Abyss, you get three shots of it a day. There's also some ways to regen your tickets once a day. Um, if you want to do that. Let's see if the floor is here. So there are a ton of floors that go up to 80-something um, now, I think. And you can do three a day. So it's super important to do these. And it's really easy so far. And uh, something you have to do every day. That's incredibly important. There's also hunts here. I'm running out of breath that are used towards crafting materials and stuff. Um, I'm not entirely sure which is the best to farm right now, but this is gonna be something you're farming basically 24 seven at the end of the game. If you're familiar with Summoner's War, uh, Golem Hunt is literally Golem's dragon, uh, is basically dragon, so they basically took the giant's dragon's necro and put him in this game here. There's also labyrinths. You need to make sure you are doing these as well. These respawn very slowly, like once a day, I think, every 24 hours. So that's kind of unfortunate because these are incredibly fun. They're like an exploration place where you just have a blast and run around and kill stuff. They are somewhat difficult to try to get as much explored as you can without dying. Um, and we'll slowly work our way up, but make sure these are never capped and you're always doing something. There's also these challenges. I just unlocked these. I'm not entirely sure how they work. I went in once and got wrecked, so I will hopefully be able to update you sometime. Um, but odds are, if you have these unlocked, you have a good idea of the game at this point. There is also upgrading gear. So if we go to team here, there are three-ish ways to upgrade your character. Let's go to my says. Uh, you can hit enhance here and you use penguins that match his color to enhance it. So for example, I would want to feed my says this penguin because it matches his ice status. Um, 
and we'll confirm and he'll gain a level which is pretty solid there there's also awaken and awaken you can click on them they're like the um zodiac stones and they do a bunch of different things and this is uh the runes you farm here, here we talked about earlier i'm just trying to get as much information out as i can to you guys right now by the way so um equipment also is really confusing you can see all these things you can feed them for fodder right here i'm not sure the best way to do this but um at plus three plus six plus nine and plus twelve you get bonus stats to your substats here. I'll probably do a video entirely on this in the future, but long story short, I would start bringing your good gear up to plus six or so, and don't waste too much money on low gear because it is very, very expensive. Okay, what, what else do we want to talk about? Let's go to the adventure. I can only cram so much into this video. Uh, I always get requests like this when the game first comes out just to talk about it, which is why I'm doing something like this. That's kind of um, unscripted and just rambling at this point. People seem to like this, so uh, it picks the most out of my brain. So urgent missions are important. Always do these if they ever pop up. You'll get a little prompt for it, and there will be that little shiny red dot there if you do need to do one. These give you proofs of courage, which you can donate to your guild, and you should do every single day, because I don't think there's any other reason for it. Um, so it's important to get all these region rewards at the bottom left as well. You can tell if you finished a region by this being 48 out of 48. And um, let's go to one I haven't done to kind of explain to you how things work here. So like this one here, for example, um, I can see that this is grayed out. So what I'm going to have to do to unlock main wolf forest is just go into here. Do the next stage, explore the area and leave at the exit with this. So that's uh, a way to help you out there. There's also a bunch of quests here. Um, again, it'll be lit up red if you're interested, and just start clicking a bunch of buttons here. And it'll also tell you the next place to go by hitting move. And this brings me to 7 1, which is where I am. So, yeah, um, I can't honestly think of too much more to say. It's important to have friends as well. If you click on friends here, get everybody you can on your friends list and make sure they're active because. The more they use you, the more you use them, the more rewards you get, which is super important. In um, so yeah, I think that's about all I can talk about at this point. Oh, one more thing that I forgot. If you click on this little lady over here, it'll be different for everybody, I believe. Um, you run into connections, and this is a really good way to get free-to-play units. Um, for example, we can get Aether here, which we got in the story, but there's a ton more. Um, Elson is basically the best healer slash buffer in the game, even better than Destina a lot of times. So it's really, 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 really easy to get Elson. A 3-star is just as good or better than 5-stars in this game, so don't be worried about the rarity a lot of times. There's also Miss Jiggly over here, and um, she is fantastic too. One of the best PvP units in the game as well. So there's a ton of people you can pick up here. Just try to do their quests. You can even get Yuna as a 5 star here. So um, there is so much you can do in this game. Um, there we go. That's that's as much as I should talk about right now. I know it's a lot of information. I know it's not organized, but right now I'm disorganized with the game. One more thing I'm realizing. Let's, let's get through this eventually. This is something people might not notice, but if you click on the event news up here or any one of these, um, that was the literal only one you shouldn't have clicked on. So let's go back. Uh, into support project here and these are set up like summoners war was surprise surprise again and uh, this kind of leads you to a bunch of quests so you have a check-in button here so we can receive attendance award there we go 70 energy what's up there don't forget to do this every single day there's also more things down here we can um, click on a bunch of things I'm not sure which I've done yet today I definitely hope they um, make this a little easier to to look at next time because these are kind of confusing for a first time in. So we've got two stamps collected right now. Um, you get a stamp every day, I think. At three stamps, I can click here and get this leaf. At seven, I can get this. At 10, I can get this. And at 15, I can get this. So make sure you're doing these every single day here. So let's try the other one. There's another one. I think it's support project. No, that's the one we just did. So let's go to... Uh, launch celebration. 
here we go. And again, this shows you how to make connections and uh, we need to get Silk and Alexa. And once you get the first one, which is Elson here, um, he's telling you that he's really good, by the way. You can get some rewards here. I can't get this one yet because I don't have it completed. There's also these, if you use 100 energy, you can click the receive reward. There you go, same with this one. There you go, and same with this one. Perfect, so that's a ton of stuff there. And again, we go down. When you watch the cutscenes and finish the story, you get a ton more as well. So um, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, also, Molagoras, do not use them sparingly. They are very, very important, just as a heads up. Um, so that's about as much as I can say here. And you can see a list of event thingies here as well. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. Come join us on Twitch and kind of learn with me together. I would love to be here with you guys on this game. Um, and yeah, see you soon. I'll hopefully have some more organized videos out soon. But for now, here's what you get. Bye, everybody.